Hi everyone! Welcome back! PRT and Slides is here and today I'll be teaching you on how to create this simple engineering presentation design here on PowerPoint. But before that, if you are new here to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to have our black brick wallpaper for our presentation. And you could just search some of it here on your web browser. So for example, we have this black brick wallpaper. We'll just copy that and paste it here on our presentation slide. After pasting it, go to picture format and hit crop and go select the aspect ratio and select the 16 by 9 ratio and just adjust it a little bit like that and then enlarge it with the image on your presentation all right so the next thing that we need to do is to have like a wooden door right over here so you could just search them online but for me i'll be going here on the back images here on powerpoint there you go and then the next thing that we need to do is to have like a, a transparent image of a gear machine so just like this you could just search it on web but for me i'll be using the gear image right over here on stock images here in powerpoint and there you have it so we need these three images for our powerpoint presentation so first let's set this aside we'll be focusing on our wooden door right over here so i'll be crop crafting it um, in order for us to have like a fitted wooden door for our presentation and we'll be enlarging this by holding the control shift and stretching the image just like that there you go and then after that we will crop this image the first thing that we need to do is to crop the first side of it and after that we will duplicate reposition it and crop it again on the other side of this wooden door just like that and there you have it. you should have like a two separated um, wooden door for your presentation so the next thing that we need to do is to have like a transparent gear for our presentation so in order for us to remove the white background we will just go to picture format and select remove a background so automatically it removed the white area so we will just hit keep changes and we will um, crop it a little bit just like this and there you have it so the next thing that we need to do is to increase the size of it just a little bit and position it right over here so the gear should be at the top of this um, left door and should be behind on the second door here on the right side just like that and afterwards um, we will first rename this small gear right over here. So go to picture format and select selection pin. And we will rename it, let's say picture 1. And then do not forget the double exclamation point. Enter. And then after that, we will duplicate this again. And enlarge it a little bit. Um, just like this. There you go. And then after that, we will rename this once again. So this would be picture 2. And do not forget the 2 exclamation point. There you go. So the next thing that we need to do is to add our text for our presentation. So go ahead and insert text box. And let's say, there you go. And we will just increase the size. And go ahead and choose your um, font style for your presentation. And after that, go to shape format, text effect, and go to transform, and we will use the inflate top. There you go, the inflate top. And after that, we will just duplicate it again, and change the color of it to, let's say, um, slight gray or color white. And we will just group them together. So, selecting the black text at the back and the white text um, at the top of it, and hitting Ctrl G. And there you have it. 
So the next thing that we need to do is to duplicate the first slide by hitting Control D. So here on our second slide, um, we will set the two doors aside. So let's um, set this left door right over here outside our slide presentation. And on the right wooden door, we will set it aside just like this. Afterwards, we will um, reduce the size of these two gears. Position it right over here. And then the other one would be at the bottom of it. Just like that. So it's all up to you if you would like to position it somewhere else. But for me, I'll be sticking on this position. And just reduce the size of this um, text. And then after that, since we will be using the morph transition, um, select the two gears right over here and rotate them. So let's say we will be rotating this on this side and the smaller one on this side. There you go. And then after that, we will just insert our design right over here or your text for your academic presentation or your for your work presentation. And there you have it. So if you are curious, where did I get these two icons right over here it came from the stock icons here in microsoft but you could just um, search for menu and search icons on your web browser and definitely they are for free so you just insert your text right over here and it should look like this so let's try hitting the morph transition effect and see what we have here so far there you go all right so before we continue, please do not forget to subscribe and like this video. Later on, you could comment down about your thoughts about our tutorial for today. So, moving on, let's duplicate our second slide and remove the two doors right over here. Two wooden doors. And I will just remove all of these text right over here. And go to insert, go to shapes, and select this um, rounded rectangle. And then make it color black and remove the shape outline of it. So we will be having like um, four of these, but it's all up to you. For me, we will be, for now, we will be using four rounded rectangles. But rather, I, I transform it to oblong shape. There you go. You should have this. After that, send them to back. So that this um, smaller gear would be visible and that it would cover um, the side portion of this oblong right over here. There you go. And after that, go ahead and insert your text um, on each um, shape. So for me, it should look like this. And let's change the color of each text to, let's say, dark gray. And yeah, there you go. And then after that, we will change the first shape, the color of the, the first shape to let's say color white or probably the color of the wooden door. So let's copy the wooden door first, paste it here, and then we will change the color of it to the color of the wooden door or rather this portion of the photo there you go and after that go ahead and change the color of the text inside if you would like to have like white go ahead probably it would look nice if it's um color black there you go and then after that go ahead and insert a rectangular shape and move it like this remove the shape outline of it and change the color to black and reduce the size of it, make it smaller, just like that. And you should have that kind of look right over here. And then after that, we will duplicate the third slide. And then change the color of the second shape to light brown. And the text would be color black. And then we will move this triangle down right over here. 
and then we will change the color of these and also the text um, to like black again and the color to dark gray there you go and we will just do the same thing to these two shapes right over here And there you have it. You should have like this kind of style on the third slide, here on the fourth slide, here on the fifth slide, and here on the last um, slide. And it's all up to you if you would like to design your slide furthermore. But for me, we will just stick first on this simple design setup right over here. And then the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and select the third slide. Let's rotate this gear right over here and this one as well. And then this fourth slide as well, we will rotate it on different directions. And on the sixth slide as well. So we are doing this because we will be utilizing the morph transition effect later on. So go ahead and select all of the slides from 1 to 6. Go to transition and hit the morph transition effect. And yeah, let's see what we have here so far. So, so far we have this final output for our engineering team presentation design. And yeah, please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment down your suggestions or your thoughts about our tutorial for today. So, you know, we could improve it in the future. Thank you so much for watching until the end. This is PRTN Slides and God bless you all. Stay safe and see you again next time. Bye!